Hey everybody, welcome to Board Game Heaven. My name is Raymond and in this video I'll be doing an unboxing of June House Secrets by Portal Games. And this is a game that's inspired by Detective, also by Portal Games. It uh, also uses an app and it's a detective game where players need to figure out all kinds of mysteries. If you want to see my review on Detective, just uh, click the I in the corner of this video or the link in the description below and that'll take you there where I teach the game and give you my thoughts on it. Uh, I'm also going to review this game after I've played it, of course, but in the meantime, let's just take a look at what's in the box. All right, so let's take a look at the box. The cover, of course, has the uh, figures from the movie, uh, which is pretty cool. Looks like a movie poster with the uh, June uh, letters here, House Secrets. So that looks really nice and uh, also has the June on the sides everywhere. And you can put it vertically in your shelf as well, which is pretty cool. And on the back, uh, it's basically just text because this is a game like Detective, you can't spoil too much. So, uh, I mean, they could have perhaps put some pictures of some of the components you're always gonna use here and how to use the app. But uh, yeah, it just has a blurb of text Three chapters with all kinds of encounters, prologue chapter. Ah, that's, that's, here is the components, and that's it. So uh, 14 and up, plays in two or three hours for one to four players. All right, let's uh, open up the box. All right, so first of all, we find the rule book, which is pretty thin. Just a few pages, I like that. So it just has the setup here on the left, the game preparation, characters, resources, the basic rules on how to play, some instructions there, and how the game ends. And that's it. And I'll start a new chapter, and how you can replay a chapter, how to store the game, very, very uh, clear, and that's it. And here you have a progress sheet on how you're doing on all the four chapters. That's it. Short, concise, I love it. So here are some pages with text that you're probably gonna be reading, which is pretty cool. More lore, and I love the June uh, setting. So here are some uh, of these uh, towns or you know, cities on June. Uh, this is probably, oh, this is pretty cool, wait. Is this the map of June? Yes, it is. Arrakis. Look at that. That looks really nice. It's just an A3, but wow. I do like it. The Broken Land, Carthag, Arakeen, the Imperial Basin and the Haga Basin, the Shield Wall, all kinds of stuff that we know from the book or books. So, uh, interesting, very interesting, like that. Here is your time track and your victory point track. And on the other side, we have the time track and the consequence track. Hmm, interesting. We have skill sticker sheets. Uh -huh. So it's kind of like a legacy game. You're putting stickers on stuff. Nice. All right, skills. We have a punch board with some uh, tokens, weapons, spice, water, subterfuge, wild tokens. It's the uh, little, um, the Muadib, the, the sand uh, jumping mouse thing. <laughs> and consequence tokens, double-sided. All right. Here is an insert made to store everything. It does look like there's a lot of empty space underneath. We have a nice wooden token here and here. We have these character uh, sheets, character boards. Javadar, loving the art here, really cool. And they are double-sided. All right, Mora, or Gora Malik, <laughs> smuggler. Also double-sided. Arya Karas, an Atreides spy. 
Liverpool and Daniel Arias. So, a soldier. Cool, so you have these four characters and this is where you stick the stickers, I guess. Cool. Let's see what else we have. We have these cards, which I can't read. These are the cards, chapter cards, basically, that uh, you go through. And there's quite a few of them. Look at that. It's a big stack of cards. And you basically look for the numbers on the top left there whenever prompted by the game. And here is an asset deck. So again, just cards with, with something on them. Uh, and I, which I don't want to spoil, but I can already tell that the art is really nice. So uh, I'll keep that closed as well. And just to check if there's anything underneath, there is nothing underneath. So the, this game does have a lot of empty space in the box. So I guess this box could have been smaller. That is something I kind of prefer, you know, don't make the boxes too big. I know shelf presence is important, but there's so much empty space. Uh, I prefer, and especially, you know, if you sleeve the cards, I don't know if you want to sleeve a game like this, you know, legacy game. There is an extra spot here, though, so if you would sleeve them, you'd just take up extra spaces. Or maybe this is reserved for expansions. They might make some expansions in the future. kind of hope so. And you can put all the tokens in here, of course. So there you go. That's everything that's inside June House Secrets. I really like the map. Quite happy with that. This looks really nice. I love the illustrations and a very thin rulebook so you can get started real quick. Just the way we like it. All right. And that's everything inside June House Secrets by Portal Games. Can't wait to try this out play this and that was it so that was my unboxing of june house secrets i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and please consider becoming a patreon saint to support my channel you can go to my patreon page by clicking the link in the description below or the patreon icon at the end of this video and you can support me for as little as just one dollar a month really helps you'll get your name in the credits of all of my videos as a supporter and also access to some patreon exclusive videos thanks for watching and i'll see you next time on board game heaven